Hey everyone, great to meet you. Um, this is actually a recording after the club um, because I recorded the first um, meeting of the Bitcoin Virtual Club. Uh, however, my recording did not get saved. Um, so I'm going to record this second uh, shortened version. Um, so anyone who wasn't able to attend, you can watch it, um, check everything out. Uh, most of it is just getting set up um, and sort of like setting what you're gonna be learning. Um, but I figured it was better to just like record a shorter one, show everyone uh, what we'd be doing, um, help them get set up. Uh, and then um, in the future, I'll make sure that the files actually get saved uh, for all the rest of the, <laughs> the coding club. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen with you all here. Cool. Um, so really quick introductions, I'm Leandra. This is the VidCode Virtual Coding Club. Um, VidCode is a really fun way to learn to code. Um, and this virtual coding club is just uh, something that we're doing, especially while schools are closed, um, to introduce coding to students at home. Um, and yeah, that's, that's really it. Um, my name is Leandra, like I said, I am one of the co-founders of VidCode. Um, so I coded much of what you see before you. Um, I have been uh, working on at VidCode um, for six years, um, and I'm really excited to uh, to be running something like this. Um, usually, I spend a lot of my time working with teachers, um, getting coding programs set up in their schools. Um, so I'm excited to uh, actually be like running as a virtual coding club um, and have the opportunity to do this. just to show you around really quick do some housekeeping um, you're going to want to join this class um, so you're going to want to i sent everyone this like virtual url um, so if you go ahead and uh, i just copied it here um, if you go ahead and use that link and you should have that in your email i'll also post it in the description below this video um, you can just sign up there uh, sign up as a student um, if you have a Google Classroom account, you can use that. If not, you can sign up with an email. Um, if you don't have an email, that's okay. Um, you have a couple options. You can ask a parent for one, um, or uh, you can just make one up. Um, it's just this thing called the unique identifier. Um, it's a way for us to know that you're your account and not someone else's account. Um, so you can make anything you want here as long as it has an at sign in it and a dot something in it. So you could be like, um, I could do like Leandra at vidcode.com. And even if that wasn't my email, that would be totally okay. Um, so that's how you're gonna go ahead and set up your vidcode account. Um, once you do that, you're gonna end up on this page um, and it's gonna say virtual coding club here. Um, my page says start coding and class dashboard. Yours is just going to have a big start coding button here. Um, and that's how you're going to go ahead and access um, the actual course that we're doing and all the tutorials. In this club, we're going to be learning JavaScript um, and we're going to be using it uh, to make these really cool graphical projects. Um, JavaScript is really, really cool because it's the language behind websites. Um, so, for example, I'm going to move this little picture of me out of the way. Um, when I click this L and this uh, box pops up with like all these details in it, that's happening with JavaScript. Um, that's happening on what's called the front end of the web page. There's also things that happen in the back end that are controlled by JavaScript. So, when you use that link to sign up to my class, um, that was like logic happening on the back end, and that was also done with JavaScript. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, there's this coding language that's used for all these things from like making games to making visual effects to making websites um, to actually like controlling the logic behind the websites that you use. Uh, just to show you some of the stuff that we're going to be making, um, we're going to be making things like this project that uses our webcam. We're going to be making these video filters. Um, we're going to be making projects like animations. Um, like this cool Beyonce animation. Um, let's see, what else can I show you? We're going to be making projects that use emojis. 
and we're going to be making things like video games as well um, and projects that are like interactive and use our mouth and stuff like that. So now that we've had sort of like an overview um, of where we're going, um, let's do our first tutorial together. Um, so to get here, everyone went to my classes um, and then went and clicked start coding. So the very first project that we did um, was create a filter. You're welcome to do any of the projects on this page. Um, you have access to the whole course. Uh, if you jump ahead too far, it might be a little bit frustrating, um, but anything on this page should be totally fine. Um, there's also, if you want, um, the sandbox. Uh, and the sandbox has just like a totally open code editor. Um, you can make anything you want. Um, so for this first club, uh, we just went into create a filter. So this is the VidCode code editor. Um, this is where uh, we're going to be working on most of our projects. Um, there's like instructions on the left here, my code editor, um, the actual like final project that I'm working on, um, and then my media gallery. Um, you're all by default going to have all these videos on the bottom here. Um, you can also upload photos and videos um, and graphics on your own as well. Cool. Uh, so as I click next here, um, I'm going to have the option to select any of these videos. Um, to select them, I just go ahead and drag them into my code editor. Um, and they're going to appear here in my code editor. Um, and they're also going to appear over here in my video. Um, if I want, if I want it to be different, I always have the option to drag it in, but I can also just change what it says here. So I can make it say like concert, and then it's just gonna update. So kind of cool. Um, as I keep clicking next, some of these uh, text blocks are gonna give me instructions. They're gonna tell me to change something in my code or add something. Others are just gonna tell me about what I've been doing. Um, so this step, three out of three, it's just letting me know that JavaScript is a programming language. Um, it's a way for us to talk to computers since they don't actually speak English. Um, and just a quick note, I should have said this in the beginning. You're welcome to follow along with me as I'm coding. That's how most of the people um, at the first session seem to do it. Um, but you're also welcome to watch this and then open this up on your own and code it on your own time. People learn in different ways. Some people learn better coding at the same time as uh, as this video. Um, others code better kind of like on their own afterwards. So it's completely up to you, whichever way you learn better. Um, and if you do have questions, um, I'll have a link to this forum, the Virtual Coding Club forum, on uh, the description below as well. Um, but you're welcome to ask questions on here um, or just directly in the comments. Completely up to you. I'll kind of be watching and responding to both. So once I'm done reading this, I'm going to go ahead and click next. Um, and something kind of cool happens. Move that away again. Um, these buttons start to appear in my code. Um, so I can go ahead and drag this block into my text editor. And I'm going to see my video change right away. This is the very, very first function that I drag in. It's called color invert, and it flips the colors of my video. Uh, next, I can go ahead and drag in tint, um, and this changes the colors of my video as well. Um, tint is pretty cool because it gives me a color, and colors on VidCode have this cool feature where I can open them and choose a color with this color picker, and it automatically gives me the hex code of the color that I want. There are two um, values getting passed into the tint function. The first is the color. The second is how powerful that color is. So if I'm ever not sure what an effect does on VidCode, a really easy way to check is to put a zero into my function and then put a hundred into my function. And I can see that at zero, there are no colors and at a hundred or a thousand, there's only purple. Um, so I can pretty confidently say like, all right, 
like this tint function is making my video whatever color I kind of choose here. Um, and this is like how strong it is. So I'm going to make it 40 and then keep going on. And you don't have to do the things that I'm doing here. Um, you're welcome to add whatever effects look really good to you. Um, as I go through, more and more of these appear. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drag in Kaleidoscope because I think that gives me a really cool effect. But it kind of gets rid of my dinosaur. So if I ever decide that I don't want one of the functions I dragged in, one of the effects I dragged in, I can go ahead and just press delete on that line of code. And then the effect goes away. Um, when I get on to step seven out of 13, I'm going to have all of my effects available. Um, so feel free to drag these in, play around, see what they do. Um, let me know your favorite effects. Uh, or your favorite function below in the comments. Um, I think one of the favorites in the first session was Kaleidoscope. Um, so let me choose four or five effects that I really like. And then vignette. So you can see here, um, I added in some effects. I changed the numbers around um, and I got this like cool kind of pixely dinosaur. Um, the cool thing about the vidcode effects um, and all of these different functions, uh, so you see that there's like a lot of possibilities here um, to make something like really kind of unique. Um, but if I wanted to, um, I could start changing the order of the effects as well. So these are getting read in order, like a book. Um, so the computer is reading line four, line five, line six, line seven, and line eight. Now, what does that mean? That means that if I move the order of these around, my product is gonna to look totally different. So if I take color invert and copy that line and then paste it after vignette, my project looks totally different. It's not green anymore. My vignette isn't black anymore, it's white. Um, and it's gonna be the same thing with noise. So if I take noise and move it after color invert, um, let me make that more powerful so you can see it. So when noise was uh, at the beginning, it was white. It was like making my pixelation more intense. Um, when I move it to the end, it kind of stands alone and I get this cool um, like TV static effect. So play around, um, play around with the order of your effects, um, play around with the numbers in them. Uh, there's kind of like infinite possibilities. So one thing that I'm going to show you before um, we close this down uh, is a function that isn't in this effects area, um, and that is text. Uh, so if I want to add text to my video, I can go ahead and write text, uh, welcome to coding club. And I did this by writing the word text writing an open parenthesis, a quotation mark, my message, another quotation mark, a closed parenthesis, and a semicolon. Um, and with that, I'm able to get a line of text on my video. The cool thing about this is that it passes in emojis as well. So on a Mac, I'm able to go up to edit, emojis and symbols, and put in an emoji. Let me try that again. There we go. Um, so I think that looks really good. Uh, someone asked at the uh, session if you're able to move it around. You are. Um, just go ahead and put a comma and a number. So like 25. That's going to move it left and right. And then a second number that's going to move it up and down. I don't actually want to move it left and right because it kind of puts it off my screen. So I'm actually just going to set this to zero. Once I'm done with this project, I'm just going to go ahead and press submit on the top. And then it's going to take me to this cool finished project. 
Um, you can get the link to share it by going to share project, link to project, um, and you can go ahead and paste that uh, in the description here or on the uh, forum um, where people are going to be posting their finished projects uh, and I'm going to be leaving feedback. Um, cool. Thank you so much for coming to the first session of Coding Club. Sorry that uh, the recording didn't get saved, but I hope this was helpful. Um, and yeah, have a great uh, rest of your week. I'm excited to see you all next week. Bye, everyone.